Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday night. I can't believe we are already halfway through this week. The month of June is flying already, and it's just begun, but I really feel like it's just wish flying away. My kids have a week less than, less than a week and a half left of school for the school year, which is crazy, crazy, crazy that, uh, you know, I, very soon they're going to have a seventh grader, a fifth grader, and a third grader. Like, how is that even possible? Um, you know, I feel like I was just the uh, kid going into seventh grade, and now I'm the mom of a seventh, almost almost seventh grader. That's super crazy. I definitely don't feel old enough to uh, have a 12-year-old, 10-year-old, and 8-year-old. And if anybody watching this can identify with the fact that, you know, we just don't feel as old as the number on the, you know, on the calendar or whatever says, uh, yeah, please, please give me a shout out and tell me that I'm not the only one who feels that way and looks around at my kids and says, how am I possibly old enough to have these children and for them to actually belong to me? It's really, it really blows my mind all the time. Um, but that is not what I was coming on here to talk about tonight. I just sort of reminisce about as I'm thinking about the fact that the school year is about to end and that my kids are getting bigger and older really, really fast. Um, and, uh, but I'm actually excited for this summer because usually our kids go to sleepaway camp, um, which is nice. They love it and they have a great time and it's really important to them. But this, this summer, um, we're doing something different and, uh, they're not going to sleepaway camp. They're going to be home with, um, with us for the summer and, you know, I'm blessed because we're going to be taking them on an awesome vacation and, uh, you know, just us again. And so to build some more memories because they're only little for a short amount of time. And, um, you know, so, so I'm excited. I know they're sort of bummed with it, that there's no camp this summer, but we're going to make this summer really cool and really something hopefully really memorable for them. Um, but tonight, that wasn't what I was coming on here to talk about. What I was coming on here to talk about tonight is how sometimes a good thing, too much of a good thing, is not really a good thing, right? So I was thinking about this today a lot because this rain has been nuts. I don't know where you live, how much rain you're getting, if you're on here live or even if you're not on here live. Tell me if you've had as much rain as we've had here in Michigan. It's been nuts, right? The month of May, I think they said it rained 23 days out of the month of May. Um, crazy. I mean, it's rained pretty much every day here for the last, I don't even know how many weeks now. I can tell you, I started going to uh, my business networking meetings back in the end of March, I think is when I first went. And I go every Thursday morning, and it has either rained or snowed every single Thursday since I've started. And that's just been crazy. Um, hello. Um, it's totally crazy, right? And yes, in the springtime, we want the rain, right? Because that's what brings the flowers. That's what makes the grass turn green. That's what makes everything start to grow. But the truth is, I was today, as I was watching the downpour this morning, right, I... I I couldn't walk my kids to school because it was pouring rain and thundering and gross out, right? And then we got a break in it for about an hour, and I jumped on that and went and took my walk. And as I was walking out the door to go, you know, to go take my walk, I stopped and started thinking. I was like, well, you know, I mean, the flowers are growing like crazy, and, and the grass is growing like crazy, right? Our, our lawn people can't keep up with it because there's not enough dry days to be able to, to mow the lawn. It's, it's nuts. But, and then there are people in other parts of the country that are in, drought, right? And I say, oh, please send us the rain, right? And the truth is, too much of something or not enough of something, both are bad. Like, I started thinking as I was making my walk this morning and thinking ahead to how the summer plays out, and I know this, right? We get a ton of rain now, and at the end of the summer, it's going to be hot, and we're all going to be saying, oh, we just need rain, right? We just need rain, and then we're going to sort of laugh because we've all been saying now for the past however many weeks, will this rain please go away? Will it please stop? Right? And it's really super important to think about that. Like, too much of a good thing is not good. Rain is important. Rain is good. Rain, we need it, right? But too much of it is not good right now. And not enough of it, if we're in a time of drought, is not good. It's all about balance. It's all about the balance of what we need. And this goes into every single thing, right? I talk about this a lot with water. People will ask me, how much water should I drink, right? And... On, a, on, you know, normally, I tell people a minimum of 64 ounces of water, up to half your body weight in ounces of water is really sort of the recommended amount. But everybody has to figure out what that right balance is. 
For some people, 60 pounds is not actually too much, depending on how tall they are, how much they weigh, that kind of stuff. For some people, even if they weigh a lot, half their body weight losses might be too much. So we have to look at other signs in our body to see if it's too much, right? Because too much of it, I know for me, when I was drinking, for a while I was drinking a little bit too much water, and it was slowing down my weight loss. My body, it wasn't what my body needed. It was a problem. And so too much of a good thing is not is not good. Another example of this, right? People who struggle with you know eating, right? People who struggle with food with portion control, right? So I am someone who I will I am a sweets person. I will definitely go for the sweets if they're there. But we keep those things out of the house. But when I'm in a place of not a good place and I'm not strict on my plan, I will continue to eat things that might be healthy, but I can eat, eat an entire plan of green beans without even blinking an eye easily, right? But that's not healthy because it's still too much. Green beans are healthy, for sure. Green beans are healthy and they are a great, great choice, but not when you're eating the entire pan of them, right? Too many of them is not a good thing. It's all about finding the balance. Hey, Rosanna. Um, it's all about finding the balance in what you need, right? Because too much or too little is not good. I talk about this all the time with my clients, right? Sometimes they'll say to me, well, you know, I did X, Y, and Z, so I just didn't eat as much of it. But our bodies need it. When we're talking about food, our bodies need the right balance. And if we don't eat enough, this is one of the biggest things. When I do a health assessment with somebody, I, I see a lot of different patterns. And one of those patterns is that someone who's really struggling with their weight actually doesn't eat enough. They're not giving their body enough nutrition. And what happens when you don't give your body enough nutrition is it goes into starvation mode. And it holds on to everything that comes in, right? Everything that they eat because it doesn't know when, your body doesn't know when it's going to get its next meal. So it holds on to everything. And then we actually end up going into conservation mode. And then it stores everything and we end up putting on weight. And it's not a good thing, right? A lot of times eating too little is just as bad if not worse than eating too much, depending on where. I wrote, yes, you have to, Rosanna, the roasted red cabbage, yes, that's also a big one in my house, roasted red cabbage. I have to measure it out, right? I have to make sure that I'm eating the right amounts because, again, too much will throw you off, but also too little will throw you off, right? That's why I weigh and measure my food is because if I don't and I try to eyeball it, a lot of times I'll, I'll underestimate, right? And that is so important. Balancing everything we do in our lives is so important, whether it's food, whether it's the rain for our plants, whether it is, you know, anything, sleep, right? Too much sleep is also not good for you, and too little sleep isn't good for you, right? You need to find out your sweet spot, right? Adults, we recommend seven to nine hours of sleep a night. We know that adults that average five or less hours of sleep, their bodies start to mimic the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. We know that too little sleep is not good. Too little sleep causes weight gain. Too little sleep causes all kinds of crazy things that, for your body to do crazy things, right? Your brain starts to go to mush. You don't think as clearly. You don't operate as clearly. Your reaction time is, is not good, right? But too much sleep will also do the same thing. Too much sleep, you'll end up being really sluggish because your body just starts to, to doesn't know how to function right, right? So too much sleep will do the do the opposite, of, you know, have just as negative effects as too little sleep. So everything in our lives, it's all about the balance. It's all about finding what is right, your sweet spot, right? And there are guidelines in all of these things. There's guidelines. For nutrition, there are guidelines for how much water, there's guidelines for how much sleep, but it's always the sliding scale, right? Sleep, seven to nine hours. Water, 64 ounces, up to half your body weight in ounces, right? Calories, in, calories in, calories out. There's a sliding scale, and it, you know, and it really depends. And it's, you know, when you're talking food, a calorie is not a calorie, right? You can get, if you're on a 1,200 calorie, you know, food plan, right? 1,200 calories coming from junk is not the same for your body as 1,200 calories coming from good quality food. But yes, headaches from too little or too much sleep. Exactly. That is very true. Headaches are a big one from not enough sleep. Headaches also from not enough water. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when we get a headache, it's because our bodies are dehydrated. We haven't had enough. 
right? So many things come from being out of balance. Inflammation happens in our bodies from being out of balance. Too much exercise, right? That's not a good thing either. That's hard on our bodies, hard on our muscles. You could go into like a crazy mindset piece of too much exercise. Anything in excess is not healthy, right? It's all about finding that balance and finding that balance that works for you, right? So when I work with a client, right, when, when a new client comes to me, or, you know, a potential new client comes to me, we do a health assessment. And we go through and ask a whole lot of different questions to get to know that person and where they're coming from and what they need, right? And then within that, where they are, all these different pieces, we put together the right plan that is specific for their needs. There is no one-size-fits-all plan, right? There are certain things that there are certain healthy habits that we that I try to teach to everyone, but how those play out in somebody's exact plan is different based on the, what they need, right? And that's so important. And then once they're on plan, I work with them because again, there's a sliding scale for everybody. Different people need different things. So within that, based on how their bodies respond, we may add something more of something, or we may take a little bit away of something, and we find that sweet spot for the person right then, right, and then that sweet spot sometimes changes, right, as somebody starts to get healthier and lose the weight and gets more energy, right, that sweet spot might change, right, for sure water intake changes as people lose weight, calorie needs change as that person loses weight, How those things change as somebody gets more energy and becomes more active, right, it's finding that balance and then maintaining balance because when we're in balance and we find balance we can be healthy and we thrive right when the when things find balance the plant you know when there's a balance in how much rain that we're getting right the plants grow properly right now they're growing like nuts so as i said before because we're having all this water and we can't keep up with it but unfortunately the the opposite comes in and then we get a drought and it goes the other way right but that's the same way with our bodies it's all about balance. It's all about finding what you need and finding that sweet spot. This can be in relationships too, okay? This is really super important in a relationship. If there's not balance in your relationships, it gets toxic one way or the other, right? If you are the one who gives all to a relationship and the others don't give, it becomes toxic and you don't feel good. If you never give into a relationship and the other people are always giving into you, it becomes toxic right? Think of a marriage, right? It's a give and take and it's a balance, right? You each have your roles. You have your role, your spouse has their role, and they play together. And if there's not that balance, that's when people become bitter towards each other. That's when divorce happens. That's where breakups happen, right? Or a lot, even if you don't break up, that's when a lot of bickering and fighting goes on, right? But when you're in balance and you have your roles and, and your spouse has their roles or your partner has their roles, right? and you find that balance together, then you have peace, and you have a, you can build a beautiful relationship. So life is about balance. Life is about finding where you can go together and, and thrive, right? So if you're not, if you don't feel like you're thriving in your life right now, if you feel like you're, you're just surviving, you're really struggling, take a deep, hard look, take a step back, and find where things are out of balance. Right? And if you can find that and you can figure out where that balance needs to be brought into play, I can guarantee to you, you can bring harmony back into your life. And if you need help doing that, if you need a second, you know, a second set of ears, you know, you just need a listening ear, feel free to reach out. I, you know, I love being a listening ear and helping people do, you know, find that in their life. Um, that's a lot of what I do as a coach, right, is that I, that I do, I, I do a lot of listening and asking a lot of questions to help people find that balance in their lives, right? Because a lot of times when we're out of balance, that's when things go crazy, right? We try to balance it out by doing other things. People who struggle with food, I know this is one of the things for me. When I'm out of balance over here, I pull to the food. It's my it's my coping mechanism. And I pull to the food to try to balance it out. And I'll tell you, long term, it never works. That's how I ended up at my heaviest, over 100 pounds overweight, right? Because food doesn't balance it out as much as we try. Or drugs or alcohol or whatever it is, those vices. Even exercise. At one point in my life, I tried to balance it out by over-exercising. And it made me crazy, right? 
balance. It's all about balance. It's all about finding your even keel and growing with it. And then being aware of it as your life changes, how to find the new better balance, right, consistently. So I hope if, you know, that this rings true to someone. If you, you know, if you caught this live, you know, put in hashtag live. If you're getting this on a replay, I should have said this earlier, put in hashtag replay. Um, but let me know, you know, let me know how, how this helps. And, and if you, if you, been able to successfully bring some balance into your life. I would love to hear that. So I hope you have a great night. I am um, heading off to uh, finish up what I need to do to go get my healthy sleep because I need that balance in my life. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.